right, everybody, we are live for the finals of the season brawl number 45 here from Rock Hill, South Carolina. We're at Strikers Bowling Center where we've had a full day of activity. And so now we are our finals with complete anarchy taking on G-Town. The G-Town heavy hitters. Got some lefties. That's going to be uh, it's a lefty house today. So we're going to see how this is going to play out for everybody. Oh, you got a ball. <clears throat> All right, so we got the scratch pair, uh, complete anarchies A B C, G towns D E F, on 35 and 36, 37, 38. This is the handicap side. Again, C A, A B and C, G town D E and F. So the final four before getting to this final match was to the two G-Town teams taking on each other for the right to uh, face the winner of the Dillagaff Complete Anarchy match. And Complete Anarchy pulled that one out 26.5 to 25.5. Big, tall, lanky dude. Got the 10 out there. So the collegiate, uh, collegiate standout for a complete anarchy. Went Brooklyn on that one. All right. Very early here. We're going to try to get the handicap difference for everybody here. Momentarily, that's a flat 10 lead for Jerry Horn. The truth.
both of these teams are looking to get them a guaranteed event at the uh, at Battle Bowl this year. Both teams are in a pretty good shot, a uh, pretty good spot in their uh, district's playoff and standings. So they should be able to uh, make a run for it on the season brawls, uh, season tour side. But both these teams would love to have something else to bowl while they're up there. And that's uh, open for the lefty, Jack Ness, who is uh, one half of the uncapped, who is one half of the uncapped tag uh, team champions. Rated R Superstar is the back of his jersey. As a half over there for uh, for Lee Bolin, crown me on 37-38. And there's another open on the scratch pair for G-Town. All right, this uh, guy up here on 35. This is uh, Daryl Shiver, D Smooth Shiver. All right, three in a row for Daryl to get started here. Here's uh, Matt, works in a pro shop, so he should be able to bowl pretty well. He, he He's starting off with three in a row. situation on 38. Lane 38. All right, good five pin conversion there on 38. Bear by Jerry Horn on 35. So each of these teams bowled three games in the qualifying. Then they made the final eight, and then they bowled one game matches till now. This is their final, final game of the day. It's for all the money. For all the money and the right to go to Battle Bowl. So far, CA is uh, is clean through three. Well, G Town has uh, two opens by two different bowlers. All right, let's see if Daryl Shiver on thirty six if he can match. Uh, Match G Town's uh, four bagger to start. All right, Got a couple of hand bones, one on uh, B and E.
All right, Jerry needs to make sure he gets the count here. So if you're not unfamiliar with the scoring format on each pair, so 35 and 36 is scratch. So the highest scratch score gets six points. The next highest gets five, all the way down to the lowest score gets one. So those all go towards the match total uh, breakdown. Also, whoever wins the pair gets five bonus points as well. Queen City DM, Lee Bolin with a six count. He's struggling on that left lane. He got a five count in the second frame, got a six count in this one. Let's see if Lee can uh, get I'm sure he wants to give it a run at it, but he needs to make sure he gets count for his team. Shiver on a four bagger on 35. There you go. There we go. Hey, right. five in a row for Matt. UBA culture. This is Kristen Shin from GOAT. Your man almost threw it in the gutter. Back to Ray. Thanks, Kristen. That was one of uh, GOAT's leading ladies, uh, Kristen Shin. Gallery. There's Matt for six on 35. Got it. All right, back in Shiver's hand out of match. Match. Ah, four pin.
Right here on 37, we got Mama Bear, front five. Left. Very nice. That was my first. I thought that was in the drink, but it was not the drink. Very nice, very nice. So the handicap breakdown for the team, uh, CA gets 66 pins, G-Town gets 112. Right, we got a NBA situation here on 38. Sam Benefield has a five pin looking at him. for Darnell Logan on 35. All right, Matt's got front six. Front six here on 36. Ten is a very slow falling ten pin. Uh, eight pin, eight pin for Shiver. Calm down. We still got a chance on the handicap uh, pair as long as Lee Bolin's bowling. Flat 10 for Jerry on 35. on this handicap pair if, if they start opening. So on this handicap pair, there's still only been two opens, both for bowler F, but their leadoff bowler has the front seven. Oh, oh, we 
we got damage in the kit. Oh, hey, that's a bad. So we got guy damaging equipment. That's the first open of uh, the match for CA. Good job. Pro shop map. Front eight. Very nice. All right. Shy red the front five and he's uh spared the last two. Let's see if we can get back on the strikes. Oh no, that was really light. Got a bucket. Left the bucket there. Alright. So Caleb striking, keeping up with uh the leadoff bowler for G-Town on 37-38. All right, so Jack leaves a nine pin on 35. G-Town is well in hand of this scratch pair for a total. And they are on pace to win the six, the five uh, points for sure. And if CA can't get one of them, it's gonna be a downfall for them. So the 10 pin falls out on lane 37. Ah, and there's the open. Open for Danny right there. Not a good time to have that one. Well, let's see if Mama Bear here on 37 can pick up the seven pin. We have not seen her attempt a spare yet. Ah, the Jerry 467. So, if you take max scores into consideration, G-Town is up for all, all three spots in scratch. The six at five and the four and the five bonus. So the only chance CA has in this match, if they could do the same thing on 37, 38, but they are trailing. They are trailing and it's not looking good. Caleb needed that one. Ah, seven pin lead for Shiver on 35. Barring a barrage of uh, opens here for G Town, they are going to win the scratch. Hey, Lee Bolin has finally showed up on the left lane on 37-38. All right, pro shop Matt. Front eight. Ah, 
five, seven pin left there. So the 300 runs are over, but the match is still going on. A nice spare, nice spare for Danny Dabkowski on 37-38. CA needed that one. Strike for Sam on 37. So that's actually a big miss there for Jack because that's leaving the door open for CA to get more points than they should. On this French fair. And that is a open for Jack. So that's going to open the door for the beat bowler for CA, uh, Daryl Schauber, to get more points. Oh. And that is a open for Caleb. That does not help the cause. No, don't. I'm not sure who. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I'm not sure who uh, Lee Bowler is fussing at, but. So G-Town here on the Scratch Bear. They are going to win six points, five points. So they're getting the top two spots for sure. Well, maybe not, hold on. The handicap bowler shot 255 for G-Town. Mama Bear doing her thing. But that's still going to give Matt six. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is going to be a big spare for Shiver here. If Shiver can spare this, he will move to the five pin spot, five point spot. Could make this a little bit more interesting than it needs to be, or deserves to be, rather. So that's five points in the CA column. And six. So the scratch score is going to be 18 to 8. 18 for G-Town, 8 for CA. Two opens by the anchor bowler on CA. Just cost them some points. the five bonus points. They're going to lose the five bonus points. So that's going to do it. That's five bonus. So the rest is kind of irrelevant. Yeah, they're getting the, we needed those five bonus points. CA will fall to G-Town here in the brawl. Congratulations to the G-Town heavy hitters for advancing. And they've got their ticket punched to Battle Bowl. Congratulations to D-Town, folks. D-Town Smackdown! D-Town Smackdown! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The one that held us all up. That last final match there, Nana. Oh. How, how does it feel? It feels really good. I love to strike. <laughs> love to strike. I do. do you love strikers? I do love strikers. Absolutely. Nana and loves strikers. Is the best ball ever. <laughs> <laughs> Little ball shout out there. That's right. I don't. I don't know what to say. I struggled there in the front half of the game. Made a made a really good ball change late. I should have listened. Apparently, someone a little earlier. But uh, our scratch pair showed up there those final two matches. Finally, our scratch pair showed up those final two matches there and held, a, held us up, held up that handicap pair. You guys got anything you guys want to say? Hey, can we get a G-Town smack? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Jesus! Jesus!